Welcome, welcome everyone guys. We are live with the SCT tournament. Tournament which is also banning uh, Root Riders. We have Synchronic Team First Team with that golden ticket going versus team from Philippines and Gotti is in. Coming in here against Simon with the Super Witches. Jeez, I haven't seen the Super Witches. I was talking about that yesterday. There was like very long time ago I Susie saw the Super Witches in the war. Uh, so, we use a bunch of lightning spells. Uh, let's see what he's up. So, looks like he's up the Scattershot, Raid Spell Tower, and probably the Cannon. Now he's going here with the Warden Wall. He has to be really careful about time because with the Witches we know uh, they are usually very slow, so we don't really want to time fail here. Uh, right now we're just letting the warden to clear the stuff. I don't know if he's trying to push for the inferno, but as you can see the warden even triggered the skellies here, so he's spending quite a lot of time on that warden walk. Yeah, he's aiming for the multi-inferno. We already opened the walls here, so that's where our kill squad will be starting trying to pull the warden with the heroes and now deploying all his army one minute 44 seconds the time when he's entering the base here he's using the log launcher from the nine o'clock corner with the earthquake spell he's also kind of doing some damage to the buildings which he wants to clear with the log launcher so he already took down the enemy warden and now he needs to get uh, down the eagle but of course the open the wall as well Alright, King going outside of the base, a bitch is uh, going around, but look at the Queen, she's on the wall. We already dropped the charm. I guess that's for his uh, kill squad when they are done with the town hall. King is now beating the wall because he wants to uh, reach the enemy queen. And the bad thing is like most of his army going around here, like including the warden. Queen start pulling the CC, we were able to take down the town hall. Royal champion uh, joining. Queen still has the healers, but Ripper only for the warden for sure. So we're still really defending a lot here on the queen. The super witches are gone because they didn't have support of the healers. And only the royal champion actually Actually, it's kind of clearing the stuff because right now his troops are stuck on the wall. 30 seconds left, so time is definitely not on his side, but I don't think so there's gonna be issue with the time. I think the bigger issue is that we're not gonna have enough strength to clear the rest of the base. This corner looks very scary. Monolith, Tesla Bar, Multi Inferno, Xbox, there's just too much uh, damage going on. So, good try by Gotti, but Simon, uh, with the hold here, and sadly, this is not very high percentage. He's only uh, right now above eight, uh, 70 percent. So 77 is the final one. Touch Nick, ahoy, ahoy. Okay, we have first attack from Synchronic. Philip coming in here with the Zap Lalo. So zapping the monolith. Yes, healer puppet on the queen and the haste and the hoggies on the RC. Alright, looks like that we are coming first with the hero die. Even deploying the uh, siege machine with the RC, so we have the battle drill which will be stunning. A bunch of the defenses. Queen right now chasing the enemy king. She will be fighting towards the town hall. King pulling the CC troops. Icy getting inside the core of the base. We have two exposed there. Multi Inferno, but also one of the invisible towers. So let's see which way the RC will go. Looks like she is going for the Multi Inferno, popping her ability here. And now the invisible tower got activated, but the Royal Champion still gonna stay there. And as you can see, even the path drill broke, so the Yeti is still trying to read some of the building. Queen with the ability clearing the town hall and Philip starting with his rules here. He still has so many spells left to support his Lalo here. RC down, Yeti is clearing the Expo with the fact the Phoenix uh, help I think so they can do it. Yep they did it. Another set of the loons coming from 12 o'clock. This is looking still very, very good. Like he can keep freezing around the multi inferno. And even if the lava pop, it will be good because that's kind of what's speeding up his cleanup. 
and this is for us to restart for Synchronic here. Right now the queen will be mostly on the cleanup duty, so nicely done by Philip. GG. Alright, Punisher with the Hydra. Uh, I think so we will be using the Super Minion Blim. Let's see. Alright, using one E-Dragon. Looks like he wants to panel. Now Blim on the way. He's freezing one of the sweepers here. And now he's landing near to the... Uh, Clan Castle. They're actually coming in here with the Super Archer uh, Blim. Uh, my bad, I thought it's gonna be Super Minion Blim. Uh, we have to be careful. Like, you can see where he lands. Like, you don't want your troops being near to the poison uh, because they would die before they even can get value. He's using his final invisibility spell. It should be enough to clear the town hall. Uh, he got a bunch of defenses, but right now we will be... Having the only dragons and no spells to support them. Like the water ability was already used to protect the Blim. Alright, King Queen outside. He has uh, Earthquake Boots. Interesting. On... Uh, oh, max level. Um, on the King. So that's gonna mean that he's gonna open all these walls. Uh, but dragons are there as well. He actually didn't open the next layer of the wall here. I already been with the abilities of the haze and the hoggies there's still a lot of defenses uh, right now the expo is uh, uh, targeting the hog so that should still keep the royal champion alive we still have multi inferno and monolith up tornado trap being triggered by the dragons queen just gonna walk around but she actually can reach still a lot of buildings here but someone needs to go for the monolith they lost the royal champion I don't know, this one kind of will go down to the queen. And also the problem is like everyone going around and is in the range of the multi. Okay, dragon trying to get closer but mono is gonna one shot it. Now the queen is in the range of the mono, it will be hold. He popped the queen ability. I don't know if she can break the wall. She is in the range of the multi inferno. It is hold. Good try, but I really have feeling that his super arch blind didn't give him that sh that crazy value, especially because he invests all these spells. Like he got the town hall and some of the defenses, but didn't really smash the core of the base, and it was still tough for the dragons. Okay, steam on with the super dragons. So synchronic in a very good position here. Already with the two defenses and one triple in. Simon coming with the super dragons. As you can see, we have a town hall outside, which is protected by the Ted plot and also uh, by few uh, enemy heroes. He's starting with the king and the queen on the opposite side, which are paneling for the uh, dragons here. Warden ability protecting everything around the town hall. And now we just need to uh, take care of the uh, heroes until that dragon starts fly, uh, flying inside the core of the base. Queen uh, doing great job, same story uh, for the king. And looks like we are using now the royal champion from the north side, where we use the uh, skelly spell, distracting all this uh, expo, which is nice. Dragon still looking very, very strong here. King probably gonna die soon because there is CC troops which is targeting him. Single Inferno log on one of his dragons, so they start dying. But we still have RC. Already using the abilities, there was giant bomb which hurt like half of the hawks. Queen still have the healers on her, but they are in the range of the multi arch tower. RC taking down the expo. She should go for the scatter. Now she's on the single inferno. Royal champion OP. Queen going back for the multi arch tower. And Simon will be adding the second three star here for synchronic. So great job by him. Okay. Uh, that was Sally. No triples from them. Let's see if they can hit the first one. They are coming in here with the, with the Queen Charge E-Dragons. We actually have the recall spell on the bar. So he just sniped the air defense, recall the Queen, and gonna do the same. But he already deployed all five of the healers. That means one of the healers is trying to now catch up and join the Queen. But the air defense will go for that healer. And I think so we cannot save the healer, sadly. All 
Okay, starting with the E Dragons, Queen now going back. She will go for the X Bow. We will be sending the Blink for the Town Hall, so the Warden ability any second. Interesting rage on the Queen. Queen fighting against the enemy Queen there. Freezing one of the sweepers. Blink should be landing. We are using the Yetis. Tornado trap being triggered there. I hope he can get the Town Hall down. Oh yeah, yeah. It's not happening. Town Hall staying up and now he's in the trouble. Luckily, he still have Royal Champion, so he could try to send the RC here. But right now, as you can see, the E-Dragons are outside of the base. RC coming in. Queen is stuck on the Ice Golems here. Can the Royal Champion take down the Town Hall? There is two Bulldog guys fixing it. He's using the Invis on the RC. Also the Skelly to uh, distract around. Now the RC with the abilities. Luckily taking out the town hall, but as you can see, it's gonna be not a hold for Synchronic here. Good try uh, by Mr. here, but as you can see, it's, I don't think so it's even gonna be like a high percentage. Queen is still alive, so kind of letting him add a few more buildings. 40 seconds left, he's on 73%. He still have baby dragon with the minion and the goblin. Yep. 73, 73. Oh, 74. Alright, Einstein is alive with the 18 headhunters. <laughs> I knew that he will be doing something different. Let's see. So 18 headhunters means he needs to get rid of these heroes and this is makes sense like this base makes sense to be attacked by headhunters because he can get rid of the heroes so so easily and after he can use the headhunters as the regular troops here but first of all he's starting here uh, with the queen charge he's using the frozen arrow on the queen king was able to clear this side of the base and he's sending Slammer into the air defense at the 12 o'clock. Queen taking out the eagle. We also use the nada super wall breaker, so actually opening the nada layer of the wall. Right now the queen is locked on the lava here. We still have overgrown spell as well, so maybe he will be like hiding uh, these buildings. We will find out. The Yetis which came out from the slammer, perfect though. They will clear uh, the multi inferno. So he's already clearing both sides, and Queen has no other choice. She has to go inside the core of the base. Such a nice uh, funnel here. The bubble wall breaker went in, and the overgrown spell being used. Wooden ability protecting the army of the headhunters. Of course, they are aiming first for the heroes, but after they are targeting everything here. Overgrown spell is hiding some dangerous uh, defenses for them. Uh, sadly, most of the uh, headhunters went to the bottom side, so they kind of dodged that raid spell. He's using the invisibility spell on this group of the headhunters, but now buildings are back, so we still depend a lot on the heroes because all these headhunters who've gone. Okay, Queen, can you do it with the RC help? RC using the ability, so we have the haste and the hoggies. Queen uh, chasing some of the skellies using the invis, but there is double giant bomb, so ripperoni for most of the hogs. Uh, wizard fighting against the skellies here. 45 seconds. Uh, maybe gonna be issue with the time. Maybe not. The wizard are on the uh, lap there. Queen of course has to go for the wall, but the real champion is also awesome for the cleanup here. I think so he can do it. 24 seconds. Let's go. 20 seconds for the last building is more than enough and Einstein hitting the three star here with the A teams. Headhunters. Honestly, barely <laughs> they don't they didn't really do much, you know, they took care of the heroes and they kind of split badly there, but it was awesome hit. I enjoy it. I enjoy how much the queen did. That was cool attack to work. So nicely done by him. We have Punisher. We have not E Dragon hit. So synchrony, not just OP with the opens, but not letting this team to hit any three star. Oh, 
All right, looks like we are deploying the siege by that for the funnel. Bringing the jump for the king. That way the king is able to reach some of the defenses. But it's the tornado trap, which is slowing down the king and not getting the like, crazy value of the giant gauntlet that he still should be able to clear the eagle. We now will be fighting against the enemy king. He's using the frozen arrow. And interesting, we are, we are using two dragon riders inside of the siege machine. Uh, looks like we have royal champion coming from the 12 o'clock as we use the skelly spell to distract the expo. The thumb hole still standing in the core of the base here. Monolith doing a lot of damage. Also, we are pulling a bunch of air traps here. And as you can see, the monolith is still there. Queen with the 1A dragon not moving because of the ice golems. His dragons inside the core of the base are dying here so that's still gonna be a huge part of the base which needs to be clear he has the haste and the hoggies on the rc using the ability freezing the multi and the mono rc clearing it that should make the queen go around she does but rc step in front of the hoggies without fox royal champion going down and this one is fourth defense here for synchronic general x I <laughs> love it. Going here with the Yetis and Valks. So let's go. And the Super Barbs. What was the what they used during the um, monthly qualifiers? It was the Yetis, right? Did he? Oh, he didn't connect the core of the base. Did he? Sometimes it's like, looks like he didn't. Let's see what the troops will do. He's zapping the defenses at the back of the town hall. Uh, they taking the jump. My bad. I thought that it wasn't connect. Oh, but only for my eyes. Anyway, right now, the Yetis and the Bells getting inside the core of the base. I don't know if there are any of them actually alive. They are not. Everything died in front of the town hall. Hoggy is from the siege machine now reaching the town hall. More than trying to help, but someone needs to clear the town hall. Because right now, we have the king and the queen outside of the base. How everything dies so fast. Alright, where is the royal champion? Oh, that. That's not good. That's not good. Um, uh, I don't know. Um, what he can do? Like, eight bars not gonna be enough. He cannot recover from this. Alright, final attack from Davao. It will be attacked with the Twin Hoggies. Against Einstein base, where we have two Invis Fell Towers. We are not activating them. Yes, Johnny, they are from Philippines. Uh, okay, we are using the Super Archer Blim. Is he gonna have enough Invis spell? Because now he's activating the second Invis. And he's using the final Invisibility spell. Like, he's not gonna take that. The oh! Okay, my bad. I thought that is not gonna be enough for the town hall, but looks like the timing was perfect. And this is like, like much more of... Yeah, I definitely like this more than previous uh, time they use the Super Archer Blim because I think the value of the Super Archer Blim here was OP. He was able to take down both scatter shots, including the town hall, so... Oh, uh, nicely done. Uh, right now we have enemy ice golem chasing his uh, army here. Uh, deploying all heroes. Oh, the hoggies went outside. This is why the people using the super hoggies with, uh, like with the warden and the regular hoggies just trying to snipe the defenses around. Uh, that way the super hoggies are staying inside the core of the base. But this patting for the hogs is painful because he start losing a lot of them and there's still so many defenses right behind the walls. Yeah, he needed to snipe some of the defenses because you could stop uh, for the hogs, they didn't do anything wrong. 
the defenses which were outside were closer for them than the multi inferno and the monolith uh Arce still has ability actually he has three heroes ability so we still maybe can do it uh invisible tower got activated royal champion now in the range of the enemy rc she should go back for the multis oh she's taking way too much damage from the cannon no this one will be hold like 45 seconds only left like the healer is trying the best but the cannon uh, doing a lot of damage uh, the queen is dying and king is now stuck on the wall here so good try by dj but as you can see Dama will be finishing this match with the 10 stars we have mark with the final attack and it will be attack with the hoggies queen charge hoggies 18 regular hogs are in okay so frozen arrow on the queen which makes sense Hayes and the hooks and the giant gauntlet. No queen child at all, but the... Susie like hooks. Oh, poor baby dragon. Double sticking air minder. Yeah, hooks are better. I agree. Alright, as Golem is distracting enemy king, so the three head hunters doing work. Alright, so far the queen just walking around. We are sending the super wall breaker. We have to get rid of that multi-inferno so that way the healers are safe. Flame Flinger will be aiming for this a multi-inferno. King paneling this north side of the base. Right now healers are in the range of the multi. He's using the free spell there. Alright, pulling the CC. Interesting, we will go against the super dragon. King activating the invis spell tower. Flame Flinger should have enough power to finish the multi-inferno. Alright, so that means the uh, queen gonna take down the town hall and the hog is just uh, for the rest of the defense. This royal champion with the group of the hog and the warden are in fighting against the enemy queen. No issue there. Queen is done with the town hall. Flame finger just finished and moved the inferno. Very nice plan from Mark here. Queen now triggering the tornado trap, so even better because the hogs are not being slowed down at all. There's still a lot of splash damage, so you can see the hogs health going down quickly here. But I still have very powerful army here. 57 seconds, time is not issue. He still has three free spells, which is not even using. Queen and the Royal Champion with the abilities here. Super minions coming out from the siege machine and Mark will be hitting OP3 star here. Very nicely done by him. GG there. That was good, really good attack. I like it. Alright guys, we were watching FCC tournament, this one was week one, uh, group stage, a double will take the first loss and congratulations to Synchronic winning 13 to 10 and thank you very much uh, that we had the chance to watch some very interesting uh, attacks, I really enjoyed this match.